The Morning Dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your food, man. That's what I am. It's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Yeah, you must have given horseback passes to the right guy, Stephen. Well, giddy up. <laughs> And Packy Smith's Shetland Pony is right alongside. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen right, Phillips. Yeah, right. Oh, Texas is with us this morning, man. It's cold out here. What's the weather like in Texas? Is it warm out there? It actually is. I, when we left Georgia, it was pretty cold. When we left yesterday around lunchtime, and I still had a jacket on. But here, it's uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's supposed to be about 75 out here today. Oh, man, that's going to be nice. I'm excited. I'm tickled to death because you're a Georgia boy right here, not far from where we're at, down in Jasper, Georgia, growing up there. And now you're all day in Texas. you got a big show tonight. What's the deal tonight? Yeah, well, the NFR is going on out here. Uh, and we're actually playing Fort Worth Live. It's a venue that actually had, had closed down, kind of iconic place. But um, there's a promoter that opens it back up during, uh, during the NFR and, and doing some shows and stuff for my buddy uh, Josh Ward, Cody Johnson, a couple other Texas artists and stuff that are uh, involved in it. But, yeah, we uh, pretty much Texas is like my second home, per se, uh, I found a place where they like real country music still outside of Georgia, so hey, <laughs> they man, come I, out here quite Hey, there's, there's worse places you could be. I'm from Texas, so. <laughs> I love it out here. The roadie is great, too. I mean, the music out in Texas right now is rock and roll. I keep telling everybody, nobody's going to Nashville anymore. Everybody's going to Texas, you know, because of all the music that's coming out there, you know, with the Randy Rogers band and all that kind of stuff, and now you're out there with it, so I think that's great. I love some of your songs. You got one, Practice What I Preach? Yes, sir. That's a cool tune. Yeah, I wrote that about my uncle. He's a, I guess what we'd call a little bit of an outlaw, you know. And uh, he uh, he's just kind of a unique fella. He he pretty much could have his own sitcom if anybody from Hollywood had ever seen him. It's kind of like having your own real life Uncle Si or something. <laughs> right. He uh, he was just one of them guys, man. And I I sat down one day and kind of just pinned one out for him, and that's what that one was. But it's also a little bit of a, you know, autobiography per se too of just kind of how I am and how my music is. And I've, I've kind of been pretty unapologetic about what I believe in and, and kind of sticking to my roots with everything. And so far it's kind of seemed to, seemed to work. Yeah. Well, I'm with you on that, man. It needs, I mean, you got to stand up for what you, what you believe. Of course we were giving everybody a hard time this morning about naming their kids, weird names, you know, because on your gravestone, that's the last thing you're going to see is your name on there. And you've got another one called pour whiskey on my grave. I saw now, that. How did that come up? That one, um, that's actually one of those where I, I kick myself daily for not writing it myself. Um, I was playing a, a writer's round in Nashville, and uh, a guy named Jamie Grooms was a guy that was in the round with me, and uh, he went off into that song, and the, the first line of the tune is, when I'm gone, don't bring me pretty flowers, don't sit and cry for me at my tombstone. Well, you know, and of course, the title of the song being Pour Whiskey on My Grave, after my mom passed away in 2010, I always go over to her grave on her birthday and like New Year's, the day she passed away, and right. pour a beer out and sit there and drink a beer with her or whatever because she was, you know, more like my best friend slash beer drinking buddy than she was my mom later when I got a little older, you know. But right. um, that particular song, like I said, I, I kick myself for not writing it because it was something I actually did already, you know. Right. So the, the, the second he broke off into the song, I kind of. I kind of knew right then that it was like, man, this song was wrote for me, and I don't know how I'm going to get it, but I'm going to get it. So I told my told my manager, I said, I don't care what you got to do, but find out how to get the licensing on this song. And actually, kind of going back to, you mentioned Practice What I Preach, me and Jamie, the guy that wrote that song, ended up becoming really good buddies. And me and Jamie actually wrote Practice What I Preach and right. multiple other ones since then um, that ended up on that record. And even on this new record we're working on, Jamie is probably on... I don't know seven or eight of those too. So well, now, it's uh, it, it it started a lifelong friendship, but it also gave me a track that is something that I can live, you know, on on the yearly for sure. 
Well, I love it. I'm all about country music. That's the thing about it. Now, this new pop stuff, I just can't get behind. Hick- what do you call it? Hickok? Hick- Hiccup. Hickok. Hiccup. <laughs> we, can- yeah, we, we, we call it crap, country rap. There you go. That's what it is. But now I can tell from your voice that you're a high tenor. I guess you sing high tenor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, Normally, I try to get the tightest britches I possibly can on. Yeah. You know, and- and and make sure I can hit them Carrie Underwood notes. There you go. He's got it. No, he's got a neat voice. Ain't no doubt about it. It's one of them deep, deep, deep voices. But uh, now this COVID <laughs> stuff going on, man. I mean, you're, it looks like you're still working. So how's that? What's that doing to you? I mean, everybody. Oh, else... Yeah, I mean, we, I, w- I wouldn't call it full blown working. I mean, we've been blessed enough to be able to play ten or twelve shows or so since March. But I mean, we were we were geared up to do 150 or so shows this year, and we right. got shut down to 12 so it's it's been a little bit testing for sure i mean we had just bought a prevo tour bus and a brand new trailer and all this stuff because we were really kind of going hard at it but luckily god blessed us enough to where you know the, the time off has allowed us to get in the studio and we've cut 25 tracks for a whole new project and well, that's cool um also you know me having my first child i had a little baby girl now man well congratulations i got to see it thank you we got to see her you know walk and you know learn to talk and stuff like that that i probably would have missed a whole lot of you know and oh yeah that's always a blessing in the skies right there you don't realize it but uh yeah that's great yeah you know we play yeah, music of course I, this covid ain't hurt me at all because ain't knowing about 10 or 12 people show up my <laughs> shows anyway so I'd... of course we, i ain't got a i ain't got a prevo so i got a bandwagon they're social distancing yeah they're social distancing <laughs> yeah we, i don't know i've i've kind of been of the mindset that I had it early on before they even announced what it was because back in March when we were actually out here in Texas playing a show I had something similar to what they talk about about shortness of breath and kind of not being able to catch your breath and dry cough but other than that I didn't really have no symptoms but ever since that I've traveled all over the U.S. and went and played Sturgis and that's 250,000 people up there with no mask on so yeah. it's like if I was going to get it I would have got it kind of thing you know but right. it's a uh, one of them things, like I said, Lord blessed us enough to keep us safe and, and get us out here and at least allow us to do a little bit of what we love to do. And hopefully next year we'll get all this stuff ripping and roaring again and get back out there and get after it. I'm going to ask you two more questions and we got to get to a break. So your band, is your band local boys from here in Georgia or you got them all over? Uh, Yes and no uh, to answer that question. I, I got two guys that are out of Nashville and the rest of us is right there around Jasper and Ballground. Yeah. Yeah, I love that area. Because, like I said, you're home folk. And the other questions I'm going to ask: If anybody wanted to get up with you or find your music, what do they need to do? Yeah, the easiest way, instead of naming a bunch of different websites and stuff, is uh, if you just go to jacobbryantmusic.com. Um, there's little, uh, I don't even know what you call them, little icons or whatever you want to call it for right. all my social media sites and and whatnot. And I even got me a TikTok, but don't plan on seeing me dance. On <laughs> oh, I got to see you dance, man. Yeah, you got to get down with some Michael Jackson. Uh, everybody everybody kept telling me, man, you're missing out on this huge platform. You need to get a TikTok. So I got one and put up a little clip or two of some stuff that was already on YouTube, you know, and it did pretty well. I went from zero followers to 40-something thousand followers in a week. So I was oh, like, darn. dang, this thing, may, this thing may be pretty cool for me, you know, but and then I kind of started realizing that it's a platform for people to dance on and do funny stuff or whatever. And I was like, well, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm like, but now, it's, now it's just there for promo at this point. Well, that'll work good. So anyway, so that's, uh, that's, uh, Jacob Bryant music. Is that right? Jacob Bryant yeah. And as he said, he's got yeah. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all kinds of stuff where you can follow him. Yep. So you got, yep. you got that's anything correct. coming up around Georgia? Uh, actually, I'm flying home tonight, and we're playing in Woodstock, Georgia, uh, oh. tomorrow at a Mad Life Stage and Studios. Oh, I've been there. I played there a couple of times. That's a cool. That's a cool venue. Yeah, we're doing a a little Nashville songwriters uh, like writers round, like I was talking about with Jamie. But oh, yeah. um, a guy named Joel Shoemake that wrote that tune, "This Side of Sober." I have he's he's coming down to do that with me, and we're just gonna sit on some bar stools and make it old school and do it acoustic. I love that. Unfortunately, my poor band's got to ride the bus all the way back to Texas, but we're gonna we're gonna fly in. <laughs> there you go, that big dog. I guarantee you. Now that Mad Life's a great place. Listen, if you get locked up down there, let me know because my first cousin's the chief of police in Woodstock, so I can help you out with that. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yeah, just, just yeah, a keep, word of advice. Yeah, just keep my number. Stephen's name and the police. It's not good to even mention that in the same sentence. So. <laughs> Don't don't count well, on it getting you out of anything. 
Are if you, you know anybody in East Ellijay, let me know, because I just moved to Ellijay from Jasper, and I don't really know anybody up there. Well, just come on, hang out with us. <laughs> let me ask you something. When you hear, when the cops holler freeze, do you run like me, or do you stand there? I was about to say freeze, in my opinion, when Mama used to say it meant stop or go pick a hickory, one of the two. Yeah, I just take off running like a wild man. I'm like gone, so anyway. <laughs> Well, listen, man, we appreciate you calling in. Ain't no doubt about it. We'll be looking for your music. And folks, go check him out because uh, he is a homeboy, local boy right here, and he's making it big, and he is going to be the next and big deal. And you heard it right here on the Morning Dish. Man, I appreciate you calling. Go back to bed. Hey, thank y'all for having me. I, I went to bed at about 5 o'clock central time and woke back up to do this but i appreciate y'all having me on and i am gonna snore a little while and wake back up get back after it, play a show get on an airplane and i'll be back over yon way here soon all right we'll see you <laughs> we know what that is yon way so anyway. <laughs> yon thank way. thank you man Jacob. we appreciate it thank you guys folks don't forget you can listen online anywhere in the world at wjulradio.com that is wjulradio.com or you can listen live at lake 97.7 WJUL. And don't forget, we're going to be uploading this to the uh, YouTube channel and our Facebook page. So just go to the Morning Dish. You can listen to the show again and uh, give us a like and give us a share. We appreciate it.